Now, disabled children across the country have been benefiting from a Scottish invention aimed at giving anyone the chance to make their own music. The Skoog is a new device which, when connected to a computer, allows the player to mimic the sound of a range of instruments. A number of schools throughout the country have taken delivery of Skoogs since they came on the market last year. Fionn MacArthur's been to see one of them in Orkney. This is the sound of a Skoog. It's an instrument, but possibly not as you'd know it. It's been developed by a commercial team from Edinburgh University. Its inventor is Ben Shogler. The Skoog is a new musical instrument to enable people of all abilities to be able to get involved in making music. It's a new piece of technology, it's a sensor and some software on the computer, and it lets you play a whole range of instruments just through touch. That's me playing a flute in a certain key, and just I can touch it anywhere. And you can play different notes in a variety of different ways, different instruments, and it's just about getting more people involved in making music. Orkney Islands Council are one of a number of education authorities across Scotland to have bought the instrument since it came on the market last year. Ben has come here to Gleitness Primary School in Kirkwall to deliver training to some of the staff and to work directly with some of the youngsters with additional support needs. So I record you playing with Steve now so you can have it, so you can hear the whole thing. The arrival of Skoogs in Orkney schools was engineered by Chris Giles of the Council's Expressive Arts Service. Well, fortunately, we had some funding available from the Youth Music Initiative, which at that time was administered by the Arts Council of Scotland and is now Creative Scotland. And so we applied for an amount of money that would enable us to buy a number of skooks for the school here and also for the itinerant circuit. And certainly they've been really pleased with that way of using their money because obviously one of their key aims is to make our educational provision inclusive. And this is probably as inclusive as you can get. I've seen the Skoog used in this school with children who can hardly move at all, who are able to use the instrument to actually start to make music. Music can be an important part of any child's education, potentially more so when it comes to those with special needs. It's a means of self-expression, but can also help in the development of a wide range of important skills, from socialising to mathematics. Morag Miller is the head teacher at Gleitness. She sees great potential for the Skoog. There's opportunities, I think, for therapeutic music making for children who have barriers to learning and verbal communication, but also physical barriers to learning because you can adjust the sensitivity of the Skoog so it can become more sensitive or less sensitive, and then it, it, you can use it like a real instrument alongside children who are playing conventional instruments as well, so it's got a lot of uses. The Skoog may be simple to play, but the science behind it is seriously complex. Its development has involved expertise from a number of fields, including physics, acoustics, computer interaction and psychology. Ben believes it has the potential to be another success story for Scottish-based inventors. We're very proud that it's a Scottish-based venture and we actually make them in Scotland and we assemble them in-house in Edinburgh, so it's made in Scotland and it was invented here. And we're really happy to be getting it out there. And it's also our the commercial venture has been funded by Scottish business professionals as well. So it is a is a Scottish venture. And it's not just the youngsters who are having fun with the Skoog. The staff here are also keen to get their hands on this most tactile of musical instruments. Given its apparent popularity, it seems likely that Skoog music will become a more common sound in classrooms throughout the country. Fionn <laughs> MacArthur reporting there on the rise of the Skoog.